Good day y'all and welcome, I am Mountain General and happy Easter to everyone. I am once again trapped in this grand strategy of a game called Hearts of Iron 4 and today we will be doing something truly blessed in Führer Redux. By the way, one of my favorite mods for this cursed game. And I have noticed that we are getting close and close to 150,000 subscribers, so I resume making my goals. I'm still working on Slovak Mega campaign but for 150k subs I will play Mountain Republic with mountaineers only and conquer all mountainous provinces so subscribe if you want to see me lose my mind like this video if you enjoyed it and write me any suggestions what do you want to see me play down in the comments and during the second coming of Christ to our earth he will either go to Poland or into Philippines and for the thing I want to do we need Italy to go communist so that's the only tweak that I will do to this game. If you know how to read then feel free to I guess. So we here are made out of bajillion little islands and our country can be summarized by an empty bowl, a hat and a big cross. And yes we will be continuing the industrialization plan because like um, yeah we need to build shit in these islands. And one big thing our leader isn't Filipino, he's Swagapino. He truly has that drip on. And I really love the fact that we have Mr. Megbombovich as our marshal over here and let me industrialize the ever-living crap out of this nation. We'll be truly building shit with political power only. The Philippines will know the might of industrial revolution. You know there is always so much to click on I'm feeling like I'm playing slots and I'm hitting the jackpot every time. The arrival of the cook I mean the crook. Man did you just get Nixon in here? I hope that it's not the Pope. Nah, not yet. And not to forget, we will have like elections in a year and something. So yay, prepare for voting, kids. United States just dipped out and we are a free nation. Nah, don't take my Mr. Atom Bomb Man away. Can't have shit in Philippines. I'll be tugging out laws of our great marshal by playing slots. You know, we need to create our national gambling fund. Hey, this is pretty rare. Them. Make me a president of Philippines and I will take our national debt and bet it on red. It's a win-win situation because if we win, we pay everything off. And if not, we will still be poor. So nothing will change really. The French refused to get bamboozled by us, but the Germans gave us one civilian factory. They will never see a return on their investment. And after all that I have done for you, you just give me a middle finger. And I don't really even know what I have done for you as but I wanted to sound dramatic dramatic as fuck. Let me now magically summon 6 military factories. Clearly this path was made by a Filipinian man. And what are our people doing inside Belgium? Well that's none of your business buddy. Ah shit never trust Londonians with your economy I guess. And I can solve our unfavorable economic situation by spending 20 political power and waiting 120 days for it to just go away because that's how economics works. And protest in Manila you see that you have an illusion of a choice you want your green text up or down the choice is yours and yes sir I have defeated the communist Belgians by capturing one little city hey yo Pope just saw how I dealt with the Belgian communists and now he wants to go in you know why not I will take his keys and his crown any day of the week nothing ever happens motherfuckers when they see their president get literally shot and now four shadowy figures decide over the map what happens with this nation. Kinda feels like that my country is about ready to explode. Oh yeah, maybe I have just gotten our president killed by an accident. Well shit happens I guess. And the Pope just died from my poor management of this island country I guess. You know maybe I have gotten our president killed but we will still be able to get Mr. Popovich into power. Ah, I see even the US is getting a blessed leader in this timeline. Line. And for a while I'll stop investing into our country until I figure out what I have to buy to get Mr. Pope in charge. Meanwhile I will get Juntas perks as well, I'm not gonna pass on this opportunity. And hey, don't mind if I do, I can consist of bajillion and one islands. And I really like this, the whole junta, all the boys can attend a public mess, but I'm not gonna do that because we need to go left, right to the Pope. Do not panic, but I have accidentally sent 
send 1000 guns into Indonesia. Well, I hope they will have a lot of fun with them. Okay, hold up everyone, I feel like Kirov just won the boxing match over the leadership of the Soviet Union, so don't fuck with that guy. Or he just beat up Lenin's dead body and everyone told him, yes, you can be the leader, just stop. Hey man, today we are truly going for those Easter vibes. We got that Junta education on. For real, for real. Finally, free reset slots, the luxury of a European country. And Pope is literally anti-corruption, so no smear as there in this universe. It's a Slovak reference not all will get. God, please don't punish my nation even more. We are already in Pacific. And I'm sorry, but the Hacienda questions have to go, aka we will lose our head. And let's go, Pope takes power. And we get a very cool color, Mr. Julius IV. I don't know if he came from Madagascar or Vatican City, but we are truly the holy order of the Philippines. Yes, yeah, so I'm taking all people from these islands and making them into knights. When Pope arrived into Manila, Philippines must have been like, huh, this guy speaks a weird form of Spanish. Amen. Truly blessed. Oh no, I have an urge to save Slovakia. I mean, it's very logical because it's headed by a Catholic priest. My Filipinian fighters just magically appeared in Bratislava out of nowhere and started attacking local Hungarians. Now we need to do blessed things and reinforce our new Pope regime in our country. You know, if you are causing troubles, I will forcibly convert you because I don't want any red numbers seen in my country. And truly, nobody will expect the Filipinian Inquisition. As our holy order, we get the best bonuses ever, like, this is truly beautiful. And you know how we do it. We'll be decked out in the old knight armor. We'll be dying in drip in no time. Those vult non nobis domine. We truly be preparing for the holy war. Give me the green bonuses, please. Now, we really quickly need to secure the Siam before they notice that we are about to crusade them all. And in the entire nation of Siam, there is just one port so this will go horribly wrong or never mind my guys just landed in and yes we have reached the city and now we need to import our army as quickly as possible we had some minor losses but the entire crusader party is coming down another day another victory for the great crusaders of asia and well because it's easter i will not be closing any encirclements and unnecessarily killing people i'm feeling wholesome today you know but it depends how much you want to try my patience. Yeah, if something is necessary, I will have to do that unfortunately. You are very lucky because I feel wholesome today. As you can see, India fractured just a little bit. So that means we are gonna go on a little crusade on this big ass peninsula. And you know, this shit is pretty good. And we didn't get the promised war goals. Damn. You know, I was promised the entirety of India and I will use Alu Diplo just for that. I was promised a crusade and damn we will have one and i don't think it will be that hard to conquer these indian warlords that usually have zero to none divisions you know my knights were promised a good old time in india and we will have it no matter what we are truly crusading over half of the indian subcontinent at once yes my crusaders we need to capture this fertile land so we have soldiers for our army you know sometimes you need to break few eggs to create a proper crusader and also, do they use a pride flag, Rajasthan? What the hell are you doing here? Hey, this is the most fun crusade. I hope it will never end. I'm literally just holing all over the Indian subcontinent. No effing way. Bless up, Mr. Meg Arthur. Guess who's back? In Philippines. Doing stuff when no one's looking. Conquer Tibet. All right, bet. I feel like the war goal getting is kind of bugged when Tibet gets war goal against itself. But anyway, I'm gonna march through these mountains like it's nothing and i have to tell you that i have created a beautiful faction over here in asia and why not to invite random people from south america they will be a great addition to my christian collection you see almost everyone nicely accepted my little invitation but ecuador ecuador will be conquered by us now before i go to america
Ok, I feel like I have to secure my backyard a little bit better. Uh, we are getting closer and closer to our eventual goal of conquering every non-Catholic country. Is it a good idea to invade Afghanistan? I will just see for myself. I mean, I have conquered worse mountains before. A literal walk through a nice garden. I kinda regret inviting South American nations to my faction. Now I have to deal with this bullshit. I'm such a good guy that I will even come to Spain and help them with their bloody civil war that's still going on in 1941. It's only about few more days till Iran falls. Yeah, what did I say? We are literally helping with a reconquista in Spain. You all have shown us the way to Christianity and we will repay you by, well, ending a bloody civil war in your nation. By spilling a lot of blood, probably. I'm not really happy about fighting in South America, but if it's something that we need to do, then we will do that, I guess. I don't really vibe with y'all when you are bullying the monarchist Portuguese over here. Portugal should get reconquist once again. Truth to be told, I'm not a big fan of how French are running this colony. They have a jolly Hitler in charge here. Oh no, his mustache is in the square, but doesn't matter, the war was already declared. And yes, my Filipinian fighters are overwhelming all thrones. Oh no, not even impossible mountains can stop us. Not gonna lie, this conflict is like a half world war for me. And well, damn, it's just going too well. And then my Paraguayans got triple untanned again. Can't escape the fate, I guess. In this universe, Paris fell into Filipinian hands. I guess I was doing too much of a based gameplay there. So I have reloaded the game, they capitulated, and now we are chasing the Frenchies to their African trenches. It's crazy how much the French people are holding on. Please surrender. And I just need your navy to retake Jerusalem. I can't believe it, after a bajillion and something years we were able to break through this little piece of land. The French people are so annoying, they just want to have their independence. Like it's not even funny. And our situation is getting better on the South American front. Give Filipinos some beers, leave them alone and they will solve any problem on this planet I guess. And holy moly guacamole, the evils of France were defeated. But the new holy league like finally we are looking good on the map and the japanese have the audacity to declare war on me as i'm slowly moving my troops towards europe a man cannot have fucking peace and what even happened to this country is it a new shogunat and i would bet that this guy is a mole ninja hey when the japan is acting up i won't be polite i will not take any gloves if they don't get their act together get this fucking green leprosy out of my island now now, this ain't Molokai. We have Loki almost lost all of the generously donated ships from France. Truly the fate of Philippines and Japan will be decided inside Vietnam. The yeah, Japanese have uh, the exception from the no encirclement rule because they are annoying. Okay, if we want to win this shit, we need to start focusing on one front at a time and starting with South America. Yeah, the Argentinian division over spam is annoying guess anything else in Hoi Fo, honestly. But my Great Crusader Alliance can take care of this shit. Soon the whole South America will be me and friends. Did Japan just do Pearl Harbor on the Americans? Anyway, if one Filipinian man wants to get to Japan, he must cross the entirety of China, I guess. I truly feel like it's time to reunify China under our cross. Yes, everyone in China will be Christian. Also you, Mr. Changeshek, or you were but now you will be catholic and don't worry y'all we are not associated with that weird jesus brother guy he's really unrelated can you just not like what is your problem even i hate this i just wanted to take jerusalem and rome and for some reason i have to deal with this bullshit when i eventually land in japan there will be literally no one to defend it wars in asia got me acting irrationally whenever i see these encirclements you know it's crazy crazy how the Italians are just letting me into their country. Well, I'm about to go and take back Rome for myself. Shit just got too real. I'm sorry Italy, but this bastardized monarch communism will end. As my troops are ready and prepare for heavy duty. Our worst enemies are here, the Albanians. Loki, today I'm not really digging the Italian vibes, but eventually we will prevail. Hey look, Megartha's Chinese adventure.
chase paying off we are very big on the map who would have guessed that there would be so many chinese people in china i will be very real with you if you don't cut your bullshit this will also happen to edo i feel like they didn't hurt me enough they really have to massacre all the chinese people i don't know man this feels very wrong i know could you just fuck off Honestly, I'm not joining this war, Cuba. You are alone in this shit. Huh, I didn't even notice, but the Italians broke through, but were pushed back heavily, and every communist Italian is a cornuto. Remember that. I feel like Nanjing has to win a award for the most nuked city. I've conquered the entirety of China just to get to Korea and have an airport here. Instead of nukes, I'll be dropping Filipinos into Japan. Let's see what will do more damage. Uh, probably not the best idea and i kind of forgot that i can totally do naval invasions against italy so yeah, their navy isn't what it used to be guess who's finally rome i mean home hey who did move all my stuff away the biggest weakness of the japanese was that they never expected me to attack through sea of japan we are tactically nuking this bitch megata just tell me how many nukes you want and i will give it to you yes, this is just not worth it to fight it regularly just end me already this is taking too long far too long to finish finally some great news tokyo in flames and i'm finally happy finally something beautiful in asia but there is still one job we need to do and we will take jerusalem by attacking british east indies chances of filipinians capturing jerusalem are low but never a zero and yes i'm basically launching my operation sea lion we need to re-christianize the british because fat king making his own religion because he wants a divorce doesn't sound gucci to me and for the good measure i made few collaboration governments so we just don't have to you know chase them through the entirety of the world it's almost like 2 a.m for me i just want to have this shit over honest to god this shit is pretty easy when they have their entire army i assume in us of a is the nightmare truly over yes and no before i lose my entire faction it is time that we go into united states of america and show them the true power of crusading armies of the philippines and our friends not so good for usa to be fighting a world war alone i am the one who wins intercontinental conflicts not even outsourcing the national defense to the mexicans will save the america and the holy war against the americans continues you know holy war is just a war to me i'm that much used to everything i'm literally king of crusading you can call me crusader king now was it a mistake to give megat all those nuke that he wanted nah probably not but this will be a belt of a wastelands now nah, omaha that's a place in france silly americans it's located in normandy was this war worth the cuba let us ask everyone in the comments me after waiting two years to get positive political power will now remind these paganistic germans the favorite pagan tradition and that is converting to christianity and oh no we will lose our investments who cares honestly who cares anymore we just want to be done with this entire world it will take a lot of lives of our puppet states but i'm willing to sacrifice everyone for my victory nuking the entirety of hungary kind of based if you ask me this is just to show them why they should have not went to a war with a catholic priest in slovakia now why did i waste my nukes on czechia here one i wanted to destroy the airport and second that's for the Hussid raids i said to myself that i would jokingly invade germany and it kind of paid off i truly went incognito behind the enemy line fuck you thanks germany this war is total and brutal but so in order to win this we need more nukes i see late game is truly the fun game when i can't even see what is happening on my screen i assume the same goes for the germans and we will try to end this war quicker by sacrificing a lot of americans probably i need the dutch people to disappear as they are hoarding divisions all over this fucking front we are like halfway through with capitulating the germany like look at this pain oh yeah th this is much worse for them i guess but still think about
about me. Think how much I'm suffering. Quite literally the only thing holding this front were the Dutch people now, when they are gone. We'll be finished with the Germans in no time. Honestly, I feel like a wizard that is only casting fireballs as his magic trick. But it works though. Nothing against it, I guess. Now behold my biggest fear redux encirclement. I will not bother counting all these people, but consider them dead already. And let my nukes have its last roar on this planet before I end this war. It is quite crazy how many people just died because Germany wasn't able to get its act together and be a normal fucking country. Oh, I really like the fact that I can only occupy Hungary. The real Indians. The delusional cosplayers. Hallelujah, the Germany was defeated. I would do it faster if I wasn't a failing state. But anyway, I have restored the Holy Roman and truly an empire. I would even return the Pope, but I'm not sure what I have messed up and I can't do that. And everyone here will become a Christian in the next 3 to 5 business days. I hope you have enjoyed today's a little bit longer video. I hope you have a very blessed and peaceful Easter. Like the video, subscribe and I will see you next time. And as always, big thanks goes to my channel members. Their names are in the description on the screen right now. And a special thanks goes to Razanon, that one dude, Henning and Atailor1967 for being the highest channel members.